What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's See How Fast We Can Break It This Time. Today we're working on the engine build again. Crank is in, today we're working on gapping the rings and getting the pistons and everything in there. Not exactly sure how far I'm gonna get tonight. I have a feeling I can probably get the whole thing together today. I got the whole day to do it, so I don't see why I wouldn't be able to. Let's get started. So we're gonna start by gapping these rings. Okay guys, so we got the number two in. I'm gonna put in number four right now, conveniently labeled. So this is all one assembly, dot goes towards the front. I'm actually, just I decided I'm gonna be gapping the stock rings, or doing the stock rings instead of the ones that I bought. And there's a reason for that. And let me explain it, and hopefully you guys will understand where I'm coming from here. So this is the, the new ring, the new top ring. And if I try to fit it inside the ring gap, it doesn't fit. I already went through this with the first one, so trust me guys, it doesn't fit. 42 thousandths on the Gen 4 ring. And then this is the new ring that I got that came in the package. 55, 57, 56, so 54 thousandths. They're like 10 thousandths thinner, so I can't even get the new rings inside the piston. So that's the reason that I'm not using the new ones that I got. They fit perfectly fine in the Gen 3 pistons though. So if anybody needs a set of piston rings, I got one for sale, hey! Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take the, I'm basically gonna leave the oiling rings in. Those don't need to be changed, but I'm gonna pull the top, uh, the top compression ring and the second compression ring off. I'm gonna check the second ring first. I don't think I had to adjust the other one last time. I'm just gonna go ahead and push this in. Then I'm just using an old piston here to push it down in. About an inch, at least an inch. Get it nice and even. And I'm gonna measure this gap. So I'm using the 28 thousandths tool because that's the one I wanna go to. And that one goes in at 28 thousandths. So that's what the other one did. So the second ring, I'm not gonna gap at all. And then the top compression ring. That one's a little bit thinner. So before, the first one I did ended up being like 19 thousandths, I think it was. Yeah, 19. So I'm gonna do the same thing I did, gap that ring to 28 thousandths, and we should be good. The method I'm using is a pretty crude method. I didn't feel like buying a tool to do this, so I'm just using an actual file. You don't have to take much material off. I'm just kind of going back and forth, going in an inward direction. Just kind of filing in an inward direction. Don't want to file out so the burrs will stick out and get into the wall. And I'm just going to keep kind of filing away at this thing. Don't have to take much off. So I'm going to do that and then we'll come back. All right, so we got the ring pretty much good now. Tuck it back in just to test it. Got the 28 thousandths. All right, so now that I got the rings gapped and back on the piston, I'm also gonna go ahead and replace the bearings. Put that one there. This one here on the cap. I'll go ahead and grab some assembly lube. Drop some down on the crank. Lube up the bearing. I'm gonna drop this thing down in there. I'll take my handy dandy hunk of junk ring compressor. And I'm going to do something a little bit different than every other person in the world. I'm going to use the handle of a file, not a rubber mallet or a hammer. <laughs> oh. Yeah, sometimes that tool is kind of a piece of crap. Well, I shouldn't say sometimes. Almost every time that tool sucks. But what I have found... is 
because you can almost just do it by hand. <laughs> just as well. So now that that's down, that's on the crank, I'm going to take this bottom cap. Put the cap on. I'm just going to hand tighten everything for now. So that later when I uh, forget to go back and torque everything, then it falls apart. I'll save you guys a little bit of agony and I'm going to go back through and do that to the other six pistons and then I'll come back after that. Alright, next up is the camshaft. So I'm going to be sticking that thing in there. Here's the new cam. Comes with the lubricant. So I'll lube it up. Stick it in. Alright, I'll start the time lapse. Open up the, the lube. I'm just gonna kinda douse this all over. I'm just gonna kinda goober this stuff all over the place. Probably don't really need to do it this way, but we're gonna get it. I'm gonna start to put this in and just hope like hell that all the bearings are the right size and the machine shop did good for me. Oh yeah, there we go. Everything seems to be okay. Pretty smooth. Can't complain. I did not get the thrust plate yet. Uh, the thrust plate is with the gasket kit and everything else that I have, so I won't be able to finish everything tonight. Alright, so next I'm going to be taking the lifters and putting the lifters in. I had these soaked a little bit in fluid. I just soaked them in transmission fluid to kind of clean them up and get some oil in there put these things all the way in all the way down against the cam so they do have the little flat edges on the top and bottom they're getting hard to get in there because there's this buildup on the bottom side so I'm just taking a like a 1500 grit kind of rub that stuff off and then it'll go down and slide in there freely Next we can take our little cap tray thing. Make sure that it engages all of the lifters so they don't turn. And put our bolt in. Now I'm going to go through and uh, do the rest of them. So yeah, some of them, this little bit here is kind of raised up so it's, it's kind of hard to get down. So because I actually pushed these into the block from the outside when I took them out. So this spot was never actually cleaned off. So if I clean that little bit off of there and then it slides down and they're nice. All right, I'll give you another shot of these. Put the lifters up here. I'm just gonna take that little, take that little raised edge of dirty old oil on there. This is like a 1500, basically wet sand. This stuff isn't actually scuffing it. It's just enough to take the, that raised kind of junk off of there. Get it nice and covered in oil. And it slides down nice. That's my one year old. He does that all the time. He'll peek his head out the door. Dad, dad. Dad, dad. Uh, what? What, uh, bud? Uh, what? Who are you mad at? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what, bud? Yeah, he's funny. He just comes out, dad, 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 all the time. I think it makes mom a little mad that he runs around all the time. 
da, da, da. She picks him up out of the crib in the morning and he's like, da, 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 da. All right, so we got this thing all scraped like strawberries. Just gotta tighten those things down and that should be good. All right, let's try to get these connecting rod bolts torqued. I did forget to cut my zip tie and my paper off of one, so good thing I flipped her over and looked at it again. I'm go 15. So what I'm doing here is 15 degrees or 15 foot pounds is the click. And then I'm doing like another 60 degrees. Approximate. So all the pistons and everything are in, camshaft is in, lifters, lifter trays are in. So I guess I was a little bit overly ambitious on this thing, thinking I was going to get the majority of it done today. Uh, mostly because I checked the tracking on the, the gasket kit and everything that I have. So like the timing gasket, back plate gasket, oil pan gasket. And the kit also has a, a new cam thrust plate in it. So all the O-rings and gaskets and all that stuff, I checked the tracking on it and it just says the label was printed. So I don't know what that means. It said it was in California. Like a week ago and it just has a label printed. But it is USPS, so you know how that goes. I'm not exactly sure when I'm gonna get it. I doubt I'm gonna get it tomorrow. Hopefully if it comes, if it does, we'll slap this thing together, but this is where we're at for now. Stick around for the rest of the build. Thanks for watching, have a good one.